Youth civic engagement is so important for young people across the country, here in the United States, and around our world. And also, particularly, youth with people with disabilities. People with disabilities are the biggest minority population in our world, and we have to engage them also. Engage them through sport, through political activism, volunteerism, and through employment. These people are so important to our community and provide value to our world. If we can establish this through our youth report and through youth population, we can broaden our ideologies and our philosophies in our world while empowering all of our youth all together in order to make this world and including the United States inclusive for everyone. So when I think about youth civic engagement, I study the ways that young people are using media and technology in new and innovative ways to essentially find opportunities where they can have voice and influence in the world uh, where they often don't in traditional institutions where politics is practiced. And so they find spaces that they're comfortable with, that they have a skill set already available to them and the tools necessary. Often this is smartphones, going on social networks, making and sharing media. This gives them an opportunity to participate in political discussions um, that they wouldn't be allowed to in parliament or even in a town hall in their local community. They wouldn't be given the same time to express themselves. And so in the spaces online, they're able to help craft this, the Swiss Online help them craft their civic identities over time. They get a sense of what does it mean to be engaged on a particular issue, what are the ins and outs of it. When you look at how political memes are used oftentimes by young people to express their either distaste for something or their you know, uh, expression of solidarity with it, they're doing that through a way that not only leverages humor to draw attention to that issue, but in ways that force other people to think about you know, what is the deeper point behind the joke? How do I get familiar with it enough such that I'm laughing alongside it and can participate fully? And so I'm interested in all of those different ways that uh, young people are learning through their uses of technology to be more effective citizens. And I think it's critical for us to think about the future of civics education in ways that encourage um, young people to develop a set of digital skills to use and leverage media and technology in effective ways um, and to ensure that governments are understanding that that is a valid place for young people to be participating and to be hearing their voices there and to be making sure that we're supporting the infrastructure um, that's necessary for young people to, uh, to be effective citizens in the future countries that, that we're developing.